This is an educational television station. It was built by the community it serves. The people who work here are dedicated to the idea that they are rendering a needed and worthwhile service. television has enriched the lives of millions of people. Our schools especially have benefited from the advent of this electronic teaching tool. Teachers, faced with the ever-increasing challenge of trying to stay abreast of new developments in their particular field, have found ETV to be a valuable ally. Arrangement, because the sum Educational television has made it possible for the classroom teacher to form a partnership with the studio teacher. This team relationship has proven especially effective in the teaching of specialized subjects such as math. Team teaching with television also provides the classroom teacher with an excellent opportunity for learning new approaches and techniques and for keeping up with current developments. In order to make this a magic square, we shall have to find that the sum of each column and each row and each diagonal will be a certain number. Can you find that number? Yes, you can, by adding the diagonal, can't you? And what is the sum of the numbers named here? Right, it is 21. This 21 is going to be very important to you because it will tell you the sum of each column and each row and each diagonal when you are making this a magic square. What number are you going to put in this box, boys and girls? Television is a tool designed to assist, not replace, the classroom teacher. All right, children. The programs are most effective when they are followed by activities which make the television lesson an integral part of the classroom presentation. Notice on television and make it a magic square. All right. What number goes in this box? Now remember, we had a clue as to how we were to reach that number. What was that clue, Andy? Eight plus seven plus six equal 21. Yes, that's correct. Now, with the clue, knowing that the sum is 21, what number does go in this box? Donnie? Five. All right, let's add and see if we get the sum 21. Think about the things that you and I have learned today when we're getting The studio ready. teacher is a new type of educator. We're going to write in complete... To qualify for this position, an individual class must establish herself as a successful classroom teacher with a special talent for class. communicating. What kind of a job you have? It is the responsibility of the studio teacher to make full use of television's unique characteristics in developing her lessons. Didn't look at before. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Oh, my goodness. I don't believe I've ever seen a hat moving like this. Let's look underneath. Oh, it's our good friend Leonardo. Leonardo, did I 
awaken you? Yes, Mrs. Mitchell. Oh, you were taking a nap. Yes. We've been talking about hats today. I guess you knew that, didn't you? Oh, I <laughs> guess did. What kind of a hat is it you are taking a nap under? Oh, that's a coolie hat. A coolie hat? Well, what country does that come from? The first step in the development of an instructional television series concerns the curriculum guide. Uh -huh. Each course taught on television is organized, Isn't developed, and outlined if, uh, by an instructional uh, committee made up of classroom teachers, supervisors, and, uh, and subject matter specialists. The fact that when we develop this curriculum, we are going to be... The curriculum guide makes it possible for the classroom teacher to know well in advance what material will be covered in the television lesson. The studio teacher uses the guide primarily for organizational purposes. Once having determined the subject matter to be covered, she must then begin to organize her research. The studio teacher has a distinct advantage over the classroom teacher in that she is given ample time and resources to develop her lessons. Special consideration must be given to the visual aspect of the lesson, for it is in this respect that television makes its unique contribution. The next step calls for combining the materials into an organized script. The script must be developed in such a way as to inform all of the people involved in the production. The cameraman, the director, floor manager, and the audio engineer of the sequence of shots and camera action. The script also provides a blueprint for the art department in their construction of props and production of artwork to be used in the program. Production of sets begin in the scenic design shop as soon as the script is finished. Once the script has been approved by the director for technical feasibility, the final preparations for recording session begin in the studio. The teacher and director must check the set to see that everything is arranged in its proper order. The lighting crew must eliminate distracting shadows and create the proper light intensity. In the control room, the video recorders are loaded. These machines will record both sound and picture on magnetic tape, which can be replayed instantly. This tape can also be used over and over again, erasing the old and recording the new in a single process. Film, if used, must be put on the projector and properly cued. Microphones must be patched in from the studio. When the director is satisfied that everyone understands exactly what he is supposed to do, he will give the order. Quiet in the studio, please. Camera one on the clapboard.
welcome once the again. The actual time required for a teacher to reach You're this nice point in her production varies. But generally, at least one hour of preparation Today, should be spent for each minute the lesson will be on the air. The planning and specialized effort devoted to the production of instructional television programs has made a significant contribution to the teaching learning process. In a beautiful garden and, and looking down at a lovely flower and all of a sudden seeing a little bug. Now you remember. Number three, check your focus, please. Ready, three. Something like a great big. Take three. Sort of like this. Hello there. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I should be so friendly or not. Have you ever seen? Teachers, faced with the responsibility for giving instruction in 10 or more subject areas, welcome the specialized assistance offered by educational television. That you can't see with your eyes. On our lesson today on television, we will see a paramecium through a microscope. And it will appear so big that you won't see the entire paramecium. And it's time now. Hello there, boys and girls. It's good to see you again today. In the field of science, for example, television has made it possible for the classroom teacher to utilize the talents and resources of an entire production center. The assistance provided by the studio teacher and his production team has given many classroom teachers greater confidence in their efforts to teach science more effectively. In the vacuole. Well, you know, there's nothing better than seeing the paramecium firsthand. Have you ever seen a paramecium alive? Well, perhaps you have, but in case you haven't, well, I hope to show you some paramecia right now. I'm going to take this slide, and in this little bottle I have some water that has, I hope, some paramecia. And I'll take the slide now and place it on the platform of the microscope. I'm going to look through this lens of the microscope, and you're going to look through this lens of the microscope through the television camera. Let's do that and see exactly what we see. Look closely now. Now, you see the shoe-shaped organism there? That is a paramecium. Do you see the oral groove? Educational television is equally effective in other subject areas. ...while you're on a trip or on your vacation. The student who made this collage did just that. And you can see that he used shells and then yarn and even some triangular shapes, perhaps to suggest that he'd visited the mountains. Work with shapes and arrange them on a piece of cardboard. Move them around until you found a pleasant... American history is not complete any more than this map is complete. But to go back for a moment, do you remember earlier when we raised the question, just why do people do what they, what they do throughout history and even in the world today? And if you recall, we said that there were three reasons and one author referred to them as the three G's. Do you think that you can learn that song this week? You can't. Oh, you certainly can if you just practice a little bit. And boys and girls, perhaps you and your teacher will of practice... Marginal whites who were barely able to make an existence because they had been pushed into poorer lands. They were called by various names, including poor whites. Below them came the free Negro population in the southern states, and the broad base of the southern social pyramid was comprised of slaves in terms of percentages. Secondary schools, because of their rigid class schedules, have been hampered in their attempts to use educational television. To solve this conflict between broadcasting and class scheduling, some schools have purchased portable videotape recorders. These machines are used to record programs on tape when they are broadcast, so that they might be replayed when and as often as the teacher likes. That area which Egypt had control up to a few months ago, Sinai Peninsula. Is Turkey really in two continents? 
Should it be considered in Europe? Or should it be... Many colleges and universities are making extensive use of television through closed circuit systems. Medical schools, especially, have found television to be a valuable teaching tool. Operations and complicated experiments, which previously had to be performed over and over again for demonstration purposes, can now be preserved on tape and made available to students and doctors for unlimited use. At the Medical College of Virginia, students using televised programs are provided with a large study area in which there are numerous individual study carols. Each carol is equipped with a TV monitor and earphones. The college's extensive videotape library is made available to students by way of a multi-channel distribution center. Dental schools have found the television camera's ability to magnify to be a special advantage in providing students with a close-up view of the mouth and teeth. Prior to television, it was almost impossible for more than one or two students to see in a patient's mouth. Educational television's service to the community does not end with the school day. The after-school and evening hours are devoted to programs designed to meet a variety of needs. Business and industry use ETV to keep the workforce in the community informed and trained. With the supervisor and his production center, the attitudes of people is the next important step. Again, with the supervisor's control, the Agricultural Service has found educational television to be highly effective for keeping the farmer's knowledge current. From the apple on the tree, or the kernel of grain, or the ounce of milk, certain standards of purity and quality are maintained. The homemaker finds it possible to learn new skills in such domestic fields as cooking, chili sauce. Always make sure that you have the blender covered before you put it into operation. Stop it every few seconds and push the food down closer to the blade. And we use this very slender spatula which will get down. Teachers find that in-service programs broadcast after school help them grow professionally. And we can consider all of the elements of design. We can consider line, form. The medical profession uses ETV to keep doctors and nurses informed of current developments in the field of medicine. To keep your lungs clear and inflated after you've had your surgery done. I would like for you to take this in your hands. Put the mouthpiece in your mouth and seal your lips tight around the mouthpiece. Now take a nice deep breath. Just relax. Nice. Some of the most exciting programs available on ETV are in the realm of cultural enrichment. Documentaries. The famous poet Longfellow described Dismal Swamp as a place where will-o'-the-wisps and glow-worms shine in bulrush and in brake, where waving mosses shroud the pine and the cedar grows and the creeping vine is twisted like a snake. Drama. Yet here's a spot. Out, damn spot, out, I say. One. Two. Why, now is the time to do it. Hell is murky. Fie, my lord, fie. A soldier and afraid. What needs we fear who knows it when none can call our power to account? Music.
educational television, offering programs geared not to the needs of a commercial sponsor, but to everyone's need for a broader knowledge and a richer life. Thank you.